Hey guys, Fat Preacher Man here, and today we're going to do um, a little how-to tutorial video on some freeware, and that particular freeware is called IOMI uh, Partition Assistant. And before we get to that, I thought I'd give you a really cool reason why you want to use this, why it helps me as a PlayStation 3 user. It can really be useful for any um, computer user, but particularly for us. Um, Okay, so here is my PS3 hooked up to a nice hard drive, um, 120 gigabytes, I think. But you'll notice that the PS3 is not noticing the hard drive. It notices the USB device, the micro cruiser that's hooked up, but it is not reading the hard drive because PS3s need to read hard drives that are formatted in FAT32, and this hard drive is not. It's in the NTFS. So that's one of the functions that this software, this freeware can do. And so we're going to do that so you can see how that works. We're going to set up a partition on this hard drive here and format it to FAT32 so we can use it for storage for the PS3. Um, so I'm going to disconnect this. And then after we do that all, we'll hook it back up and we'll be able to see it. So let's get started. Okay, so if you've clicked on the link below, that'll take you to this page. Um, and here it is, the IOMI Partition Assistant Home, the freeware. They do have uh, more um, advanced things that you can buy and upgrades, but we're going to do the freeware today. Um, and so you click on there and get started. Which leads you to here, and then you click on download the IOMI PA Home. And then again, Download Center Home and Pro on the left right there. Then download the freeware on the left again. Now on this page, I don't know if it was just me, but there's a lot of download buttons. You want the green one, that one right there. Click on that one, not the other stuff. If you want to check out the other stuff, you can, but this is what we're doing today. The IOMI Partition Assistant, the Home Edition. That will take you to here, and once it's done downloading, you'll notice your little download down here in the left-hand corner. And it will appear right there if, like me right now, you're using Windows 7. If you're using some other type of uh, operating system, then go to your downloads or it might pop up for you. You want to get here so that you can click on the download, the execute, and get started. It's going to ask you what language you want. Then it's going to take you through some basic install steps that if you've ever installed programs are pretty common. Um, the licensing agreements, you read through that, click on accept and next. Then comes where do you want it to operate from, which folder, um, where you're going to install it to. Um, you want to, if you're ready, click next for continue. It's going to ask if you want a desktop icon and a quick launch. I just clicked on desktop. It's going to show your choices, what you want to do. From there, you're going to click on install. It's going to do the install. It doesn't take very long. It's actually pretty quick. Um, and then it's going to say, do you want to start? Do you want to also view the tutorials? Uh, you finish, and then once it starts up, it's going to look like this. Uh, from this page, we can see some basic functions that it has. Um, they're all pretty useful. And depending upon what you're doing, this may serve uh, 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 many different functions for you. Let's take a look at the icon for the desktop real quick, though. And it's going to be right there. Pretty simple. Aomi. And then um, whenever you plug in the hard drive, like I just did, whenever you did, if the system, if it's up and running already and it wasn't, plug in the hard drive, it's going to tell you, hey, you're just changing something. Do you want to reload the properties? Um, because whenever you turn it on, it's going to read the internal hard drives. If the external one's not plugged in, it's not going to read it. So for what we're going to do today, we're going to click yes, and then we're going to actually click on the hard drive we want to modify, which is the new volume down there at the bottom. And when you do that, you might notice the choices on the left change. And we're going to click create a partition. Um, then it's going to give you some options. The size, this is what it suggested at first, but I want to change some of those parameters. So I'm going to change the amount um, of the size under 30. Going to change it to FAT32. Going to name it PS3. And then if you look, once you're done, once you've set that up, it's going to give you this little button up here. It's going to highlight now because it's uh, applicable. It's apply. You click that. 
It's going to tell you what it's going to do, and you click proceed. It says it should take five minutes. There is no way this thing took five minutes. It was super, super quick, nice and easy, zipped right through it, and bam, it was done. All operations were successful. Um, then go back out, and you see here it is now. There's the PS3, 29, FAT32 that I set up on this hard drive. Now let's take it back over to my PS3 and plug her in. So here I am, plugging in my uh, little hard drive next to the USB again. Uh, there we go. And powers it up. Now I take a look at the screen. There's the USB micro cruiser. And what is that? The external. Yay, there's no save data. No, nothing on there. But let's look at the information. And again, 29 gigs, just like I set it up. So again, this is uh, some really useful stuff, especially if you want to save backup for your PS3. You can set up partitions on your hard drive, your computer. You can set up different partitions on your hard on, on your hard drive for different things, different functions. You can set them up NTS, FAT32. So this is some pretty useful stuff, and it's freeware. Check out their other stuff. Again, their link is below in the description. Have a great day. Jesus bless you, and good gaming.